In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bar graph in your Google slide using Google Sheet. So the first thing you want to do is highlight the data that you want to graph and copy it. Then head up to the menu, click on File, New, and Spreadsheet. Once you do that, it should open up a new Google Sheet for you. And you can paste in the data table that you just copied. Now I want to show you quickly what would happen if you tried to graph this data exactly the way that you just copied and pasted into your Google Sheet. So if you go over to More and select Insert Chart, you'll see that it says no data. And the reason for that is because in Google Sheets, uh, anything that you want to graph, it cannot, uh, Google Sheets will not recognize numeric information if it's mixed with words like beats. So uh, when you're graphing, and this is true for Excel as well, um, it, you need to make sure that your, um, wherever you have the numeric information that you're wanting it to graph, your data, you need to delete any words or symbols that might be in that cell as well. So I've gone ahead and already done that down here in this data table. I left degrees Celsius because I'm going to uh, select this to be a uh, header, so it, it's actually more of a label. It's not data that we're wanting to to graph as far as it to show up in the actual bar itself, uh, but we want it to be more of a label. So I left the degree Celsius there. So then when we go up to more and select chart, it recognizes that we a bar chart would be the best type of graph for this information. And if for some reason your graph does not show up with a bar graph, but another type of graph, you can change that by going over to data and uh, selecting the chart type that you would like to use. So the first thing I notice is that my titles are very generic. I have trial one, trial two, trial three, and average. And I'd like that to be more specific to the experiment that was being done in our sample problem. So in this experiment, the student was measuring mosquito larva heartbeats at various temperatures. So it's going to be a much uh, more specific title um, for this particular graph. I also like to format the title, change the color. You can change the size and the type of font if you want to. Um, but that's just a little bit easier to read. I also notice down here my horizontal title says temp. I'd like that to say temperature. And I also want to put in parentheses that we were measuring this in Celsius because there are different units for measuring temperature. So I want to make sure that that's very clear to the reader. I'm going to go ahead and make it match in color. And you just want to verify that when you're looking at your chart, any kind of graph, that the information that you have graphed is accurate to whatever your data shows over in your data table. So if we look at our data table for trial one, two and three for temperature at 15 degrees Celsius, it should be right around the 20 heartbeat mark. And so if we look over here, we can see, yeah, that's right. This information matches what we have in our data table. Uh, sometimes you have to manipulate the data yourself by going into data and making sure that the data range is correct. Um, sometimes that you have to switch the rows and columns around or make sure that the labels, uh, the correct things are being called labels. Um, for this one, um, I like the way that it has it grouped 15 degrees Celsius uh, is grouped together 25 and 35 degrees Celsius. And then over here we have a legend uh, that is color coded and shows us that trial one is blue, trial two is red and so on. Okay. Now the last thing I need to do is add a vertical title over here to my chart. I need to explain what these numbers represent. So I'm going to go back over to Customize and Chart and Axis Titles, and I want to add a vertical axis title. And I'm going to call this one Number of Heartbeats, because that's what those numbers represent. And if you remember from the sample problem, these were taken within a minute. So we want to put per minute, again, so that the reader, whoever is reading your graph, can understand what this data represents very easily and very quickly 
they can uh, recognize what this experiment was about and what the results of this experiment were about. Once you have your uh, graph looking the way that it should look, you can copy it simply um, head up here. You can uh, copy the chart. You can even, I believe you can even highlight it and uh, control C, uh, copy it that way, um, and then paste it into your Google slide as you need.